Okay guys, I just thought I'd quickly go over how I do my bases. This is simply, as you can see, the bottom of a cardboard box. And all I've done is I've cut the corner off, got a bit more, a, bit, a different bit of card and taped it over to give it the angled look. And then I go all the way around it with some masking tape, just so there's an even base, even flat surface all the way around. And then for this custom, I've got this brick effect for the sides of the base. Got these from my local hobby craft. You can see that there. Doll's House Emporium. They might have their own website where you could probably purchase this from as well. And when I bought this, I actually thought it was going to be self adhesive, but it's not. It's just a roll of paper with a design on. So, all the way. The only the way I did it is just with some PVA glue, stuck it on, trimmed it down, and that's how I did the base. I also painted the top grey, and as you're going to see, I put some designs on each side and the front of the base. Okay, this is the template I'm using, and what I'm going to do is draw around the template onto some craft form, and do that twice, and then cut them out and glue them together. Okay, so we're going to be doing the same on the front of the base, but these ones are going to be slightly wider, slightly thicker, so we're using the same template. Instead of uh, tracing around them onto uh, craft form, we'll trace them around onto card, and then cut two out and super glue them together. So to cover up the cardboard edge all I'll be doing is putting some masking tape along the edge and then cutting off the excess. And then as we did with the craft form uh, designs we'll give this a couple of coats with the gold paint. So moving on to the figure itself, I used the same Batman figure that I did for the uh, Batman Noel and I went in, taped off his head, his gauntlets and his boots as usual and then went ahead and hit it with some primer and then I also went in with a dark grey wash just to darken the grey. The gun holsters and the way I did this is the exact same way that I did the gun holster for the Nightmare Batman gun holster and you want to be making a rectangle with an extra flap so that you can glue it together. So once your design's cut out you want to get a knife or scissors as I've got here to just a scored line, you don't want to cut through it all the way. And it'll just help folding it into place and into shape. So as I mentioned you want to make it into a rectangle with an extra flap that's one that I'm folding there and then with some super glue, glue it into place and that will be the basic body of your holster made.
So what I'm doing here is cutting two slits and then I'm going to be folding the craft form in on itself and this will help the pistol sit in place in the holster. So this is completely optional and what I'm doing here is just adding a bit more detail with a pouch on the side of the gun holster. Okay, now we're going to move on to the shoulder pads. Um, for this we're going to be using card and specifically we're going to be using the back of my old notebook. So here I'm putting detail onto the shoulder pad and it's not 100% accurate with the Prime 1 statue that I'm using for reference and I'm just playing it by ear I'm going to be putting a diamond on top and bottom of the shoulder pad again not 100% accurate but I wanted to put my own little spin on them Okay guys, so this is the collar for around Batman's neck on the figure, but first of all I just want to apologise for the lighting. I had the light off to the right hand side, but I don't, I'd forgotten that I had the light on the camera on as well, that's why there's a, light, uh, a haze along the top of the video. So again, I also want to point out that this isn't the actual collar that I used on the figure I'd already done it so I've had to backtrack so I can show you how I made it so here I'm cutting out a C out of some craft foam that's going to wrap around his neck and then I'm going to be attaching some strips of craft foam on top of this so that you've got the design of the actual collar and then I will wrap it around his neck and glue it into place So as I mentioned I didn't film me making the collar for the figure so as I mentioned I'm backtracking so I can show you how I did it so that you can do the same process if you if you wanted to do a custom similar to this. So because I'm having to make it again I've actually run out of black craft foam but I'm going to show you how you can cover up the red craft foam or whatever colour craft foam if you do run out of the black. Um, so I will be showing you that later on, it's basically just some black acrylic paint, paints all the craft form quite easily, uh, you need a, one or two coats but as you can see here I'm wrapping the craft form around the collar ok that's the collar now done I'll just get glued on a little bit, a bit around his neck 
like so and then I'll just put super glue on the underside and glue it onto his neck and shoulders. But as mentioned I ran out of black platform so I'm using red and just gonna give it a quick paint with some black acrylic paint. Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'll probably give it one or two more coats of black acrylic paint just to make sure that you can see the red uh, craft form. This is the collar glued into place using super glue and then you can also see I've used black and red craft form to do his chest emblem and again just using super glue to glue them into place. Now we're going to move on to the utility belt. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of me doing this, but what I did is I took the yellow utility belt that came with the figure primed it and then went in with some red acrylic paint as you can see painted the pouches red with some black acrylic paint for the black stripe. I then cut the buckle off and reattached it, the pouches together using craft form using reference photos as you can see with the round circle buckle and glued it together and then glued it back onto the figure. I'm quickly going to go through the pistols that I've bought for the Flashpoint Batman figurine custom and these are bought from eBay and the detail on these are fantastic and they fit perfectly in his hand. It's just unfortunate that on the figure one hand is a clenched fist so I can't put both pistols in, in his hands so I'll have one in the holster and one in his right hand but as I mentioned the detail on these are brilliant. The slider slides back and forward and the magazine comes out as well. And that round is actually stuck in the magazine, it only has the one that can go in there. And they also come with some loose rounds, as you can see here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them to the base in a scattered uh, pattern. I just lost one <laughs> down the back of my desk. Uh, but I'm going to glue these in a scattered pattern on the base and it should look quite well. So that's the pistols. I'll leave a link in the description below of where I got these from off eBay. So this is the same inner core that I use for the Batman Noel cape so that, so that I can mould it into different shapes and different ways so I wanted the cape. Now I did originally have footage of me doing the same for the Flashpoint Batman but unfortunately I somehow managed to delete it. Um, my camera was full, the memory card was full, so I was deleting some stuff to free up some space and I somehow managed to delete all the footage of me putting the inner core wire into the seam of the cape and gluing it into place. So I will be doing the same for one of my future uh, customs, so hopefully I won't delete it and you'll be able to see that. But it's not too much of a difficult thing, it's basically I used the UHU glue, glued it to the edge of the cape and then folded the cape over the wire and glued it into place. Okay guys I don't want to show too much off because I don't want to ruin the final reveal but the way I've done the straps is just by looking at reference photos and this is just made out of craft form and even though the form was red I've actually gone over it with red some red paint as well. But the buckle's gone over it with some chrome and then you got the design similar to the Batman Noel, just altered it slightly just so it doesn't look exactly the same but that's pretty much the figure done, ready for the final reveal